Hello, this is Dampy Longnose, and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play video and another video touring uh, Spanklechank's uh, world here. This is a community world which he, uh, he's hosting, uh, where there's quite a few builders, and we're here in the um, the modern uh, setting. Uh, this is the apartment building. This is where we ended the tour in our last video, and we're going to jump straight back into uh, going around and looking inside some of these other buildings. And um, this is another nice kind of old style one. It very much reminds me of New York, the styles of these videos, uh, but then again, New York's one of the few places in America uh, that I've actually visited, so uh, everything in America kind of reminds me of New York a bit. Uh, this is Vincent's Ear Fine Art Sale. Um, okay, so this is, I guess, where uh, we can buy some fine art. I actually bought some, um, uh, some art from a vendor in the medieval town, um, but... I guess this is uh, where we can get some fine art. I don't know uh, what makes this fine art, but um, I don't know. The sign says fine art, so I guess I believe it. So I'm going to spend, I don't know, like a six-figure sum buying it. <laughs> I think art's much more about the uh, the setting rather than the context of the art. You see an amazing artist on the street just, like, drawing something on, like, the pavement, and you don't look twice at it, but then you go to, like, a fancy museum and everyone spends ages staring at it and analysing it, you know? I actually went to the uh, the Tate Modern, which is like a modern art gallery in London, and some of it I was just like, what, really? This is art, you know? And um, I don't know, I mean, I, d I do get some art, but I think sometimes it's a little bit uh, too pretentious and stuff. But anyway, you don't care about my opinions on art. You care about Minecraft and uh, seeing the rest of this world. And so I guess here we've got a, a little laptop there, and we've got um, some video games, a little joystick there. I'm not entirely sure what game he's playing, but... Um, the graphics look awful. <laughs> so I guess this is um, where, the, where the artist lives. We've got a, a fish tank there. Uh, unfortunately, it seems to be uh, slightly devoid of fish right now. Uh, I just want to uh, quickly remind you that uh, while recording these videos, my throat is... Um, it, it's basically like sandpaper right now. So um, I'm trying to speak softly, but every now and then I forget and start raising my voice and getting excited again like I so often do. But um, if I do start coughing or uh, do go quiet for a little bit, that's probably because I have been coughing and had to uh, just cut it down for a bit. But um, we should be okay. I'm feeling all right, like, o like okay right now. I've had uh, quite a bit of water and stuff, so I should be okay. But uh, I just want to apologize. Like, I don't like doing this. I try and uh, have as good quality as possible on my audio and uh, coughing for like a commentary isn't what I'd like to do. But um, I don't want to, I don't want to stop this tour like short because, um, uh, Halo 4 is actually coming out next week, uh, the day I'm recording this. I know, um, as this is uploaded, Halo 4 has probably been out for like a week or two. Um, but as I'm recording this, uh, Halo 4 is coming out next week and I know I'm not going to have any time for Minecraft. <laughs> uh, so I do want to get this video done now. And to be honest, I'm sure by the time, uh, I've uploaded all of these videos, uh, this world would have doubled in size anyway. So, um, I can come back and sort of, uh, check it out again. And what flag's that? Is that... Is that the Italian flag? I think that is the Italian flag, but the green looks really lime green, so it looks a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure, though, so if that's not uh, my apologies, uh, anyone from Italy that might be watching this video, uh, I am absolutely awful with remembering flags and stuff. And I'm not actually uh, entirely sure what this building is for or anything, um, but oh, it sort of leads to uh, a nice little courtyard back here. Is this like an Italian restaurant, maybe? Maybe. It looks it looks very nicely decorated. Maybe we could sit here and um, have some spaghetti like Lady in the Tramp or something. I don't know. Maybe uh, a pizza or something. I think this is. I think that might be like clay ovens. You know, often in like Italian restaurants, you can see them like uh, flipping the pizza and stuff in the background. <laughs> Okay, so this looks like it's a uh, police car here. This is the Old Town Pig. Yeah, there we go. The, uh, the, the pigs of the city, the police. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... Yeah, it looks like it's uh, stopped here, uh, right next to the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts place here. Uh, very fitting. <laughs> this isn't me. This isn't me saying they're pigs. This isn't me saying that uh, the police just eat donuts. But all I'm saying is the police car is next to the Dunkin' Donuts. Draw your own conclusions. Um, not many donuts, but once again, uh, a hell of a lot of cakes. And uh, I don't actually want any donuts because I want McDonald's. I've been saying for about like the last two videos or so that all I want is to go and get a cheeseburger from McDonald's. And Spanklechank has showed me every single building left and right and center uh, of um, the McDonald's and not actually let me go into the McDonald's and buy my cheeseburger. So hopefully uh, in this video, I will finally uh, get my get my teeth around some hamburger meat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, let's go over 
Okay, so um, it looks like Spangle Chank is just sort of uh, trying to work out where where to see next uh, because this world's kind of a bit uh, all over the place. It's sort of there's not one definitive route. It's not like there's a straight line we can walk down and just sort of uh, look left and right and sort of. Uh, see everything so um, I'm not entirely sure what building we're going to next um, we've been inside all of these buildings and I'm very I'm very conscious of the fact that we're moving away from McDonald's I know it looks like we are finally moving back in the area of McDonald's uh, we can see here once again this is where you can buy second-hand cars there seems to be uh, a monkey or something on the top there and uh, oh no we're going away from McDonald's Spankle Shank oh no I, I need to get him to come back this way come, come this way come this way I want to go to McDonald's Spankle Shank come this way Follow me, follow me, follow me. Ah, oh, no, we're not going to get a McDonald's. This way, this way, this way. You're going to follow me. Come and follow me this way. I want, I want McDonald's. I want McDonald's. Is he going to follow me? This way, this way, this way. <laughs> okay, he's, he's there just saying that I'm tripping. He's saying, why is he going over here? Follow me, follow me, follow me. I want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> we missed it out. We missed it out last time. <laughs> He can't actually hear what I'm saying right now, but I've finally got his attention. I feel like a dog, you know when a dog like wants his owner to follow him, and he sort of has to keep sort of looking at him and saying like, come on this way, this way. <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> Yay, we can finally go in. Please, please just let me have my hamburger. <laughs> He's just realised what I wanted to do. He just went, oh, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> We missed out. We missed out the most important building, the the golden archways. Uh, once again, I do want to point out that uh, I haven't been paid by McDonald's to do this video. And to be honest, I don't even really like fast food. But I don't know. I just really wanted to go in here, and um, you can see it's here, all nicely decorated. And what shall I get? Uh, I can get a Big Mac, a double cheeseburger. I think I have a. Can I have a double cheeseburger, please? Oh, apparently one of one of the signs has gone missing. But yeah, I want a double cheeseburger, please. Double cheeseburger. I'm hungry. Oh, double cheeseburger? Yeah, he, he, he just he just said double cheeseburger. How did he actually know what I want? Can he hear me? I get really paranoid that he can hear me this whole time. I suppose he can't hear me because uh, he would have heard me whining about going here. Is that the double cheeseburger? Not that. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Here's 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 my double cheeseburger. God, it's massive. <laughs> I suppose that is. That is probably the closest you could get. I suppose maybe a loaf of bread might have looked a little bit more like one. And sorry, Spankle Shank, uh, we can go back to wherever you were going now. <laughs> that, that, that's all I wanted, to go to McDonald's. Oh, apparently there's a McDonald's playground back here as well. I've not seen this before. See, look, we'd have missed all of this out if it wasn't for me. If we just followed him, we'd have gone all past this stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this is the McDonald's playground. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. You don't really get many play areas in, like, UK McDonald's. Uh, normally, they're just, like, crappy restaurants. But I went to the McDonald's in America, and they're actually amazing. I actually went to one in New York, and there was a guy, no joke, playing a grand piano in the corner of a McDonald's. I couldn't believe it. So you've got some games here. Maybe we press them, and it plays sound effects or something. Um... That'd be kind of cool if each one you press made a little ding or something. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going to be here all day if I just stay here. There seems to be some sort of bird thing. You know those things that run swings that go back and forth? <laughs> That's really cool. A nice little uh, bit of added detail there. Well, whatever else happens in this video, I'm happy. I'm content. I got what I wanted out of this video. I got to go to McDonald's. I'm still carrying around my cheeseburger. I can't actually eat the cheeseburger uh, because I don't have permissions. I don't have permissions to eat cheeseburgers, which is kind of outrageous, but I can uh, waft like the smell of it in front of me and just sort of uh, walk around holding the cheeseburger to my face and I can just be uh, a happy cat. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to finally uh, going to let Spankle Shank uh, show me uh, over to where it is that he wanted to show me. And to be honest, he probably does know best. He is someone who built this. And who is this? Who is this person here? I give them a quick shout out, seeing as uh, they are here. Uh, this is, oh, I can't even see. Uh, this is BHLZZ uh, Sir Grizz. Um, I'm assuming this isn't the real Sir Grizz, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick shout out if you're watching this video. And uh, as I said in a past video, I will have a, a link to all of the uh, contributors and builders and architects uh, that have helped make this world as epic as it is. It's not a one-man effort from Spankle Chank. There's been uh, quite a few people building. <laughs> this looks to be like some sort of a garage or something. Are these like garage like sliding doors? Yeah. There's a... Uh, a tra is this like a post office type area? Is this like a mail truck? I oh, know. It's just like a, like a delivery truck to so sort of put goods in there and stuff. Um, okay, I can deli deliver some white wool for me. Some yellow wool, sorry. So I guess this is these are like shelves where they put like leave all stuff on them. I think they should put some chests and that on there. So I think this is like the like the the postal like delivery type area. 
And like every room that you walk into has just been like completely furnished. I don't think in this whole time I've walked into a room and it's just been like an empty square. I think every room I've gone into has had uh, something built in. It's just it's just those tiny details that just uh, make this world really stand out above uh, some of the other worlds that I've seen like in the, like other videos and stuff. Like, I, I don't think I've seen a world uh, with this amount of detail in the Xbox 360 version. And, like, I don't want to be uh, pitting, like, some of the other worlds that I've seen, like, against this world. You know, I've been to uh, some amazing places, and I'm not saying that this is uh, definitively the best. I think every world I've gone to has gone uh, with a different style. And that's what makes it interesting. I think that it's boring when people try to just build what everyone else is building. And I think that whether it be Water Dragon's world, I don't know, like, Comics world, this world, whatever, they're all doing their own thing you know they're not all copying each other or like copying things that they've seen on the pc they're sort of trying to do things their own way and the xbox community is a smaller community than the pc and we've got to kind of we've got to stick together we've got to try and make ourselves heard and not just be the kiddie version of the pc version you know i think there's a lot of people that uh, consider the xbox version of minecraft like the um like the the noobs version of Minecraft, and not like like an equal. But um, I think that I don't know. It's a different community. There are things that you can't do on Xbox that you can do on PC. But um, I don't I don't think we uh, on Xbox are just like simply just the lesser versions. You know, we're not just people that don't have PCs powerful enough to play Minecraft. Like I could play Minecraft on the PC. I choose to play it on Xbox. That's that's the version that I like to play for me. You know, I don't care about mods and stuff like that too much. You know, because I don't know. I don't have loads of time to play Minecraft. And for what I need, I think this simple version and uh, how easy matchmaking it is, how easy it is to join people's games and uh, the fact you don't have to remember everything you've got to craft. You can just sort of do it. It just works for me. And um, this seems to be uh, the very the very top office here. It's actually kind of dark in here. I can't actually uh, place torches so I can't brighten it up. Hopefully uh, you can see okay. Um, but yeah, this seems to be like someone's office. I think uh, the comedian is actually uh, very quickly uh, building uh, himself a desk there. And I'm not actually uh, sure what building this is. I suppose I am... Um, I probably should have checked on my way in. Um, maybe there's a, a sign outside the front or something. Um, this actually kind of reminds me a bit of the um, the building in London, the Gherkin. That's not its official name, but I can't remember what it is called. But uh, there's no actual sign to say what it is. But uh, a pretty nice, uh, nicely designed building there. And it's good that like it's um, furnished like all the way to the top as well. A lot of skyscrapers, as I say, uh, are often quite empty. But you can see there... Uh, every room is completely furnished and uh, we've got here like a, a radio tower here on the roof. And looks like uh, um, he's there just uh, hard at work building his office. You can see how quickly he's built. Like when I left, he'd hardly built any of that. He's, he's been getting to work quickly and i am just become very conscious that I have no idea uh, where Spankle Chank is. Um, uh, there he is, there we go. I've, I've just found him, okay. <laughs> looks like he was there just directly behind me. <laughs> I could just hear him there in the mic just going, like, Stampy, I'm right here. Like, Stampy, I'm right behind you. <laughs> okay, it looks like he's just, uh, he seems to be having more trouble waiting for the world to load in, like, other than me. He keeps having to stop to, like, let the world load in, but it's loading in really quickly for me, and I'm, I'm very grateful for it. I apologise for the, um, the, the earlier videos in this series where uh, I did have to spend, like, a large amount of time waiting for the world to load in. Um, but yeah, we seem to be um, okay right now. And uh, this is this is all um, places that I've never seen before. Um, I had seen some of that modern area, not all of it, um, but this is all completely uncharted territory. I have uh, no idea what we're about to see. It looks a little bit menacing, though, a little bit of lava and stuff. And where's he gone? Oh, man, I, every time I turn a corner, I've just I've just completely lost him. <laughs> I can hear him just saying over here, but I can't actually see where he is. Let me look on the map. Uh, this direction somewhere. Uh, I think he's getting annoyed at me for being completely blind. Ah, uh, here we go. How was I supposed to find him over here? What's this building? Is that a, a, a big A? Oh, I think this this might be like a... I think that's going to move. I think there might be pistons. Is this going to be like a like a countdown thing or something? Okay, well, I think they've, um, they're going inside and sort of uh, like cutting some wires and sort of like doing a bit of uh, soldering and stuff and trying to uh, fix all the circuitry that's going on behind this thing but I'm not entirely sure what it is like I'd assume a clock but um I don't know there doesn't seem to be 
a big enough of a display. It looks like it could be like a countdown, uh, but I don't know what a countdown to. Maybe uh, when it's going to be the new year, when it's New Year's Eve, uh, there'll be a countdown from like 10 to 1 to sort of mark. Saying that, I don't, I don't really think it could. I don't think there's... um, and not, like Because of the glasses here, I'm not entirely sure if it could all move. But yeah, so I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be staying out here or going in or... I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit because I know the second I turn away I'm gonna look back and it's gonna be like all completely changed or something and I would have missed it. Hopefully this isn't a big build up for nothing. I can hear them all uh, like shouting at each other and trying to trying to get something to work down there. They're all sort of asking each other questions and trying to sort it out there. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Should I go in? Let me look through the window. Can I see them? If I press my face against the glass. No, there's there's no there's no gaps to see uh, into there. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a quick look inside here and sort of just see if he shouts me to go back outside. I don't even know how you get in. I can hear them. I can hear stuff breaking and getting destroyed. I think they are just sort of rearranging some redstone and stuff in there. I don't know how they get in there. I don't know where the their entrance was. Okay, let, let me see if I can find any way in. Um, I can hear they're counting as well. Uh, I'm scared that as soon as I look away, that something's gonna change or something. I'm gonna miss it all. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, th I think something is broken. I think they've made a little hole in here. And um, what is this? One, twelve, and four minutes. Um, maybe is this like a timer thing? Maybe. Um, I, I, I think I'm looking uh, sneakily behind the scenes here. And whoa, you can see all their redstone, cir redstone circuitry here. You can see, yeah, we've got some pistons here. I guess it is supposed to do some sort of countdown or something. But uh, there seems to be a, a, a little bit of a problem. And there's a there's a gap in the circuit somewhere. Something's going wrong. I know there's actually um, a, a lot of things that uh, in Minecraft on the Xbox 360 edition simply don't work in Redstone because uh, there's bugs, there's uh, glitches, there's things to do with circuits where it sort of burns out where it shouldn't. So uh, a lot of the, the big builds in Minecraft that use a lot of Redstone uh, don't work because of a fault in the game, not because uh, the people that are building, like, building it aren't building it right. Uh, so this might not be working because something's wrong or it might just be because, I don't know, there's some sort of bug in the game which is making it so it doesn't work. I know that uh, they did fix some stuff in the 1.8.2 update, uh, but I do know um, that there are stuff uh, that, that still doesn't work. Not do anything. It usually it'll go 1 through 12 in okay. 4 minutes. Okay, well no normally what it does, in 4 minutes it goes uh, from 1 to 12 and like we'll count through the different numbers, but um, it's currently not working. Um, hopefully... They will fix it and I could get a bit of footage to like overlay now. Uh, so you may now be seeing some footage uh, of the clock working. Uh, if not, then I guess they couldn't get it working or I didn't do another video. And uh, anyway, nonetheless, let's carry on with the tour. Uh, there seems to be a um, uh, an airship here. You can see like a kind of a Zeppelin type thing over here uh, or a blimp or whatever it's called. I think this might be kind of a blimp, but I don't know. It looks a bit too grand and nice for a blimp. It kind of reminds me of the kind of thing that you'd see uh, in like a Final Fantasy game. You know, you'd expect Sid here uh, sort of riding this thing around uh, a nice little jukebox down there. And yeah, just a quite well designed like airship blimp type thing there. And uh, I'm not entirely sure uh, what's in here. I don't know if this just leads straight back to that that circuitry room. Oh, this is, this is kind of cool. It's a little bit of a, a labyrinth of like steps and stuff leading everywhere. And Spankleshank completely just disappeared on me there. There seems to be a little bit of lag now as people are, are joining and leaving the game. Uh, we've been quite lucky. I haven't lagged out the game uh, this time. I have lagged out in some of the past videos, but I've been okay. I've, I've stayed in the game now. My connection seems to be uh, slightly stronger now than it was the other day. And I have no idea what this place is. Um, I wish I could let you know, but I don't uh, have any idea. We've got a few more massive beds here. It's funny that even though these aren't real beds, they're just done with wool. They, they've always done them red for some reason. Like, that could be any colour, but they're just so used to, like, beds being red in Minecraft. They've just, like, kept, like, the red beds, even though, like, they could be any different colour. Okay, so let's have a, a little wander around here. It seems like uh, he's deciding to just fly around. It seems to be a little bit too confusing with all these ladders and stairways and stuff, and, um... Yeah, this might be a uh, quite a nice point to sort of get a view over the rest of the modern land. We can see there uh, some of all the buildings that we've gone into earlier on, and it looks like we're flying uh, completely over here and uh, this direction. Okay, 
Okay, so I think we're going now uh, into the area where things haven't been uh, completely finished. I think this is um, a case of uh, to be continued. These are things that uh, he's still working on, things that aren't finished. And um, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else that we've missed out uh, that we haven't seen. Um, so I think this might be a good point to end the video here. So this uh, may or may not uh, be the, the final video in this series of videos. Uh, but I know that for sure, whatever. I'm going to be coming back to this world at some point in the future. Uh, so as this might probably be the very end of the series, I'm going to take this as a moment just to just to fly over the land and just sort of show you uh, all of the things that we've seen. We've got the McDonald's there where I got my hamburger, the city hall there. This is the park and the subway. Uh, this is where we played tennis. Uh, going back over here, we can see uh, the massive tree we went in earlier. Uh, there's a few buildings over here, which I'm not entirely sure if we've seen yet. Uh, going back over here, we got the medieval area. Uh, we got that big tower that I spent ages looking uh, for Spankle Shank and waiting for everything to load in around here. Uh, here we got the castle and uh, all of the royal buildings. We got here the medieval town. We got like all of the old inns. We got like the rusty spoon and all of those places. Uh, we got here the hot air balloon uh, leading over in this direction. We got all of the pixel art uh, that we saw in a previous video. And uh, this isn't the biggest world that I've been to, uh, but it's so brilliantly detailed and uh, almost faultless in its design. And uh, I want to thank uh, Spankle Chank very much uh, for inviting me into this world and sort of uh, show me everything that he's built so far. I also want to thank everyone else that has helped build this world and help him out uh, and helped uh, create such an amazing place to sort of explore around and visit and play on. Uh, I also want to thank you very much for watching these videos. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed them. Uh, but that is them all for now. As I say, I will probably be back in this world at some point. Uh, but that is going to be it uh, for this quick series of videos. Uh, so that's the end of the video now, guys. I will see you all later. Goodbye.